yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. This is another Shizzy Lit Podcast. You understand me? The topic of the day, good neighbors. I ain't really have too many of them growing up in life. I'm going to say a good 70-30 ratio, 70 on the not good neighbors and shit. You feel me? So what make a good neighbor and not good neighbor? I guess whatever make a good neighbor, right? Whatever the opposite of that make a bad neighbor. So we can sum it up and keep it quick. You understand me, but shit, what's the top three on my list of a good neighbor and shit? A good neighbor, shit, first of all, they mind their motherfucking business and all that shit. That's always number one is a good neighbor and shit. Ain't all in your business trying to be all in your apartment, all in your crib, all in your motherfucking dwelling, all in your domain and shit. You the feel me? I ain't with all that and shit. You the feel me? And vice versa, I won't be all in their business and shit. You the feel me? Unless they think, you know what I mean? It's something crazy going on, or somebody breaking in your house and shit. You know, feel me? That's that's probably 1.5 or 2. A motherfucker hold you down. You can trust them. You ain't got to worry about them trying to go up in your crib if they know you going on vacation or left for the day, at work, at school, some shit like that. Motherfuckers ain't shit on the neighborly tip. Be right there waiting for your ass to leave so they can go up in your shit, die motherfucker looking out and all that shit. So when they see you pulling up, coming back and all that shit, you can make a quick exit and don't get your motherfucking hold. Wiggy or split in half. You know what I mean? Shit like that. And I mean, you know, having a neighbor, you should benefit from each other and shit. Not just on no borrowing shit. That's the classic, you know, feel me, neighborly thing to do. Nigga, come and get the bar a cup of sugar. You got any brown sugar? You got any motherfucking honey? You know, in the super hood when niggas doing bad, a motherfucker come knock on your door, ask you for a pack of hot dogs and shit. Can I get my mother said, can you we get a pack of hot dogs and two? She get our food stamps on that super, you know, feel me, poverty, low level hood shit. You feel me? That niggas when, said, once I grow up, I ain't going to be dealing with that shit. You know, feel me? Like I said, it wasn't 100% of bad neighbors. I gave it a 70 30 ratio, 30 on a good tip and shit. You feel me? So, uh, you know what I mean? But the, uh, I ain't going to go all the way banging shit and reminisce. I definitely had some good neighbors and shit coming up, but mostly, probably end up beefing with them, or not necessarily beefing with them, just don't fuck with them and shit, you know, feel me, not on no beef shit, just some neutral shit, I don't fuck with you, if I see him going in or coming out, I give him the traditional worldwide head nod, or say what's goody and shit, you know, feel me, a nigga might have some small talk if something going on outside or some shit like that, motherfucking police on the block, nigga might, yo, what happened, yo, some shit like that, or some, you know what I mean, some crazy shit like that, yo, you see this little nigga, Fed X or something come you, you know what I mean? Don't let nobody snatch my shit, some shit like that, you know what I mean? But it be the little things and shit that make a neighbor all the way a good neighbor and shit. Because you can be friends with your neighbor, then end up beefing and all that shit. If you live in there for the whole time you live in there, and you and your neighbor been cool the whole time from the first day until y'all move, or when they move, or when you move, y'all sad as shit. Because you know you ain't going to have no good neighbors like that. You know, feel me? That's a good neighbor right there. You know, feel me? Matter of fact, bing, a story, of course. You know, feel me? My last good set of neighbors and shit, not saying the neighbors that I got now was bad. I just don't fuck with them as much as I did with with my last neighbors, my last spot and all that shit. You know, feel me? I mean, because I can tell you a story about why I fuck with them. You know, feel me? Boom. Like I first moved in there and shit. Still getting shit settled in, still moving fast and shit, getting shit straight. I leaves the motherfucking key in the door. Instant violation, red flag, burn, throw the flag, you dig? And uh, my neighbor was, we was in the apartment joint. I'm on the first floor, yo on the second floor. So he got to walk past my shit every time he get in there. Yo knock straight on my door, boy. He like, look, yo, you left your key. In the door and shit. I gave him the little look like, he was like, yo, no worries, yo. I just wanted to make sure you knew that and all that shit. So that was a good, that was a good first impression on my part to him and shit. Because I'm like, all right, this nigga trustworthy. He could have grabbed my key, surveilled the scene, waited till he knew nobody wasn't in there, ran up in that motherfucker. You know, feel me? And I wouldn't have been able to get the fuck up in that bitch. He could have went out with the bag of anything. My man let me know, boy, get your key, boy. You know, feel me? Like, you ain't got to worry about me. You know, feel me? So I instantly fuck with him off top and shit. You know, feel me? Boom. 
another reason. You want me, you, I mean, if that ain't enough, boom. My man gets the Wi-Fi and shit. You know, feel me? We already cool and shit. We show each other love and all that shit. We rap with each other and all that shit. Smoke together and all that shit. You know, feel me? So niggas already cool. Boom, my man get the Wi-Fi game. Yo, instantly. I ain't even had to ask my man. Say, boy, what you want the password? Hell yeah, I want the password. I'm instantly in the game. Nigga put me in the game. I'm on my... Listen. I probably had more shit on my man motherfucking Wi-Fi than he did, man. You understand me. My man showed me instant love, boy. You want the pack? Hell yeah. You know, feel me? And my man gave me a microwave and shit. I forgot about that one. See, that's a good motherfucking neighbor and shit. You know what I mean? You ain't got to worry about nigga being all in your motherfucking business. He holds you down and shit. Think about you and shit. Show you love. All that type shit. You dig? You know what I mean? That's a good neighbor. You know you good. You ain't got to worry about motherfucking. You ain't even got to be quiet in your crib. You can argue with your bitch. You know feel me? All that shit. You know feel me? They arguing shit, niggas ain't got nothing to say. Niggas ain't on that clown shit calling the police and shit because they hear motherfucker having a disagreement. They ain't in me. They don't be hearing no motherfucking rumbling in the motherfucking building shaking like niggas down that motherfucker having Royal Rumble 3. Some shit like that. That's a good motherfucking neighbor. Nigga, you can get a ride from the neighbor if you need a motherfucker ride, vice versa and all that shit, nigga. I mean, I'd let my man hold a few dollars and shit because I know he go to work every motherfucking day. So I know he got a job and I know where he live at. That's how much of a good neighbor my man was. I seen you recently. That's what made me think of this topic. It's hard to find a good neighbor all the way around. You know, feel me? All the way around the board. My man was a hundred on a neighbor tip. You understand me? My man was a hundred. You know, feel me? I don't even remember ever being mad at you or no, nothing like that. My man was official and shit. Cool guy, man. So I got to shout my man out, man. Shout out to all the good neighbors out there. You feel me? You might think you're a good neighbor, but sit back and listen to the checklist. Is you doing shit like that? You know, feel me? Minding your business is all it takes for me for you to be a good neighbor in my eyes. When you doing all that extra shit I told my man about, that's my motherfucking homeboy. So for now on, forever in life, that's my neighbor. That's what your name is. What's up, neighbor? I got to bring it up every time and say, yo, you the best neighbor ever. Yours a house right next to me. Yo, moving that, yo, so we can be neighbors again. You know, feel me? So if I ever get rich, I'm going to move this nigga next to me. I'm going to get your crib built. It ain't going to be as big as mine, but that motherfucker going to be luxury mansion type shit. And just because he was a good motherfucking uh, neighbor when I was a regular nigga, when I blow up and be a, a successful, wealthy nigga, he going to benefit off that. Him and his wife and shit. I'm going to build them a nice motherfucking four bedroom, three bathroom, you know, feel me, two garage, all that big boy shit with like a, a eight and a half for this. Man, shit, you dig? Just because you was a good neighbor. He set for life. Don't let me blow up because he don't even know. You know, feel me? But that's how it's going. He going to be on the list. I'm straight snatching. Yo, he living right next to me. Nobody else can't live next to me. That's my man's spot. He got that spot. So, yeah, shout out to him. I ain't going to put his name out there because I don't know if he want me to. But that's my guy. I ain't saying nothing bad at all. Him and his wife was cool as a motherfucking AC in front of the fan in the wintertime in the window. You understand me? So it's your boy OG Shizzy Brizzle. So if you ain't never know what a good neighbor consisted of, there you are. Call them neighborhood superstars. Good neighbors. I know I'm always a neighborhood superstar and shit. I might be a nuisance every now and then. Something might be a, some loud music. Weed smell creeping through your vents and shit. But other than that, you might hear me cussing the bitch out every now and then. But rather than that, it's all gravy, baby. I'm going to holler at y'all motherfuckers. Don't forget. Fuck with me on all the social media shit at Shizzy Lit Podcast Cross the Board. All the streaming motherfucking networks and podcast situations that you fuck with, I'm on it. So get with your boy, the real McCoy. I'ma holler at y'all later. You dig me? I'm out. Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy Brills. And everybody go check out Shizzy Lit Podcast on Spreaker.com if you want to rock with your boy when he go live. But you can also catch me on any of your favorite streaming platforms. I'm everywhere, baby. Shizzy Lit Podcast, Shizzy Lit Vlogcast 2021. Holla at me. You did.